Hey guys, it's Angie. Today I'm going to be doing a swatch fest for you of the OPI Muppets collection. This is a holiday collection that's being released November 1st, I do believe. And you can find it at like Amazon, Ulta, um, different places that sell OPI products. I have the best success finding them at Amazon. Anyway, there are six different glitters and then six more holiday neutral inspired colors and they're all inspired by different characters from the Muppets. So this is super exciting, very nostalgic for me, and I hope you guys enjoy this swatch fest. So let's get started. The first glitter in the collection is called Divine Swine and it's described as a fabulous shade of magenta. I have a couple of swatch sticks that I have done for you guys so you can see what it would look like on your actual nail. And this stick right here that's wiggling a bit is straight up three coats of this polish. And then this one right here is a base coat of purple with one coat of the glitter on top. I do prefer to have like the base color and then the glitter on top that way it won't be so hard to remove all the glitter. All these glitters are fairly sheer in this collection but that is Divine Swine. So this next one is also inspired by Miss Piggy and it's called Excusez-moi which is a pretty pink glitter and here we have the swatch for you. Um, it is very pretty. It has kind of blue and green glitter particles in the, in the pink base, which is kind of neat. Very, very cool. This is the most opaque out of all the glitters, and very nice. As for Kermit the Frog, he also has his own nail polish called Fresh Frog of Bel Air, which is a grassy green glitter with some silver hexagonal larger pieces of glitter in it. And here we have the swatches. This one right here is the glitter, just plain, three coats. And then this one right here is a green nail polish with just one coat of the glitter on top. Now we have a third tribute to Miss Piggy, and this is called Getting Miss Piggy with it. And this is a bright, flamboyant, glittery red. I see this being perfect for Christmas. And here we go with the swatches. It's just like ruby red slippers with a couple little silver accent, hexagonal glitters as well. Um, this one is the glitter over a red nail polish, and then this one is three coats of the glitter. Gone Gonzo is up next, and this is a statement making shade of blue. Uh, blue nail polishes are pretty much my favorite, so this is definitely a love for me. And as you can see, it has the silver hexagonal f glitter flakes in it as well. And this one is a base, and then this one is straight glitter. So, very beautiful, very much, very gonzo, so I do love this one. The last of the glitters is called Rainbow Connection, and it is a disco ball in a bottle. I absolutely love these. It's a dupe for, like, Deborah Lipman's Happy Birthday. There's also a few others. Wet n' Wild had a limited edition one called Party of Five Glitters, and then Milani Gems are definite dupes of this as well. But here are the swatches of that. And it's just multicolored, you know, varying sizes of glitter in this in a clear base. And this is absolutely beautiful. This is great for like New Year's parties or New Year's Eve or even holiday stuff. I love this. I love these kinds of polishes with the multi-dimensional glitters and the and the sparkly factor. The sparkle factor. So this one is straight up. Uh, three coats of Rainbow Connection. This one is a black nail polish with Rainbow Connection on top. I'm not sure if this is translating onto a camera, but this is this is one of my favorite nails to wear. Black with the multicolored glitter. So here are the two other dupes of this color that I have. This one is Milani's Gems, and then this one is Party of Five Glitter from Wet n Wild. I think the Gems is right on, straight dupe of that, and this one doesn't have as much green, green glitter in it. Now on to the non-glitter polishes from this collection. This first one is called Animalistic, and it's described as a wild bright red, much like Animal, who is probably one of my favorite Muppets. And this is the color, as you can see, it's a very warm, almost orange red, very beautiful metallic shimmer to it, and this would look great for the holidays. This next one is one of my favorites from the collection, and it's called Designer De Better. <laughs> And it is a beautiful shimmery bronze color. This one's kind of unique because it looks like it has tiny, tiny copper particles mixed into the 
to the taupey bronze base. So it's a really beautiful color. And here it is on the nail. You can see kind of the dimension it has, the way it reflects light. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. Definitely run out and buy this one. I love it. And it's fairly opaque as well. Next up, this one is inspired by my favorite character, Beaker. Um, and it's called Meep, Meep, Meep. And it's a deep fuchsia with kind of like a, a glitter in it as well. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this color. Don't really have anything like this. And I will say that the finish on these is kind of gritty as well, kind of like the glitters. And it dries down matte a bit, so you're going to need a top coat. But I love this one. And I love Beaker. So, next up we have Pepe's Purple Passion, and it's a dark, moody, berry shade. And here we have it on the nail. It's not picking up, it's kind of showing black on camera. This is one of the most disappointing polishes from the collection. It dried down to a gritty texture, and even with a top coat, it kind of looks like grainy almost. Like you suck wet nail polish in sand, maybe not so grainy as if that happened but you know it's kind of a grainy texture I don't like it um, the color is beautiful but it's just it's not a good formulation so I don't like this one very much too bad Pepe's awesome okay so we're getting close to the end and this is called warm and fuzzy and it's a metallic copper uh, beautiful beautiful color definitely a shade that I would wear for Christmas or New Year's um, I really love this one. It was a bit sheer. The first coat was fairly sheer. So this is actually three coats of the polish. But it kind of reflects off like a beautiful gold, olive -y tone. A uh, really beautiful polish and worth the effort of applying three coats, in my opinion. And here's our last polish, also inspired by Fozzie. And it's called Waka Waka. <laughs> Here we have the nail. This is a dark kind of metallic red. It's not too dark, you know, where you get to the vampy kind of side of nail polish, but this is actually really beautiful as well. Um, all of the reds in the collection are pretty spot on. I mean, it is a holiday collection, so you expect reds, and um, I don't have anything like this, so I really like this, and it wasn't sheer, went on fairly nicely and smooth, and has a beautiful kind of sheen to it. So that is Waka Waka. Okay, let me wrap up this review and tell you my final thoughts. Um, the glitter formulation on these and the glitter polishes definitely could be a little bit better. Um, they do dry down and are kind of gritty, so you'll need like a top coat or even two layers of top coat to get kind of maximum results. And some of the other polishes as well are gritty, which is definitely disappointing. Uh, I expected a lot of this collection. I still love the colors and everything, and I love that they were inspired by the Muppets. But um, definitely have to work with them a little bit more than, say, other OPI formulations. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little swatchapalooza, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.